Welcome back, Seth Bling here. And today I wanna to share with you some of the changes I've made to my Bling Edit data pack, as well as a couple of plugins that I wrote for the data pack. So first I'll start with the plugins. I have built what I consider the outline of a mountain. So you can see it slopes upward and then there's some snow at the top. And that is to show off my spline plugin. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like. I'm gonna click plugin and then spline and it'll basically connect all those blocks with a smooth curve that fills that fills the region. Uh, now you notice there's some gaps and the mountain is actually hollow. That's because the spline uh, plugin just fills in the top block of each X, Z column. So each vertical column uh, and it basically, so it forms that curve. Um, so I wrote another plugin called drop fill. So if I click this, it's basically gonna take each block and copy it downwards until it hits the bottom of the box. And so this will actually make the mountain solid. Now you notice I have added a progress bar to Bling Edits version 1.0.4. Uh, this is something that plugins can use, but it's also used by all the core features of the plugin of the uh, data pack that is uh, like filling and deleting and cloning and all that stuff. So any, any operation that could take a while will have a progress bar. Now you'll notice that after the drop fill has run, it, the mountain solid, it goes all the way through. I think it looks pretty good for just placing a few blocks and then kind of just running a plugin. This is kind of small, but you could make it as big as you want. It'll just take longer. I wanted something kind of small for the video. So yeah, it's, it's really easy to use. You just like place a few blocks. Here, I'll just like do some and I'll show you kind of how, how, how the curve looks just over a very small area here, something like that. And then let's go ahead and select all this and I'll just run it again and I'll sort of show you from the side. Basically it takes the highest, uh, the highest block in each column and uses that as a control point for a smooth curve. And so it took, took each of these existing columns and, and built a smooth curve around it. Again, it's only filling in the top block in each column for that curve. So use drop fill if you wanna make it solid, but it's a pretty smooth curve given the blocks that I assigned it to start out with. I think it's pretty neat. Now I wanna talk about some of the new features that are in Bling Edit version 1.0.4. Uh, you probably saw, well, I guess the first thing is you saw the, uh, the grid, right? So there are the uh, particles. So there's now particles around each, around, uh, each selection box that you make. This is optional. Uh, whenever you select a box, you can see over here there's Bling Edit options. So if you click this, you can turn the particles off and they'll go away. If you turn them on, then they'll be back. I imagine for some weaker computers that the particles, I don't know, might have some sort of performance impact. I haven't seen any performance impact. I do have a pretty beefy computer though, but you can select quite large boxes and it doesn't really seem to do anything too bad. Um, so the particles are new. Uh, probably the biggest thing otherwise, well, there were, you saw the progress bars. Carrots on a sticks, carrots on sticks now work. So if you want to use this, you give yourself a carrot on a stick, you toss it in the anvil, you rename it to, of course, bling edit. And then you, so this does, this actually won't work if you, um, well, it won't work, it won't work in some circumstances. You notice if I click, it doesn't do anything. Um, you have to actually just drop it twice and it'll give you, that'll, that'll give you the sharpness five enchantment on this. And now clicking, left clicking does work. The advantage of a carrot on a stick though, is that you can right click. So if I right click here and here, I can select or whatever. Um, so you notice with a sword, if I like move too quickly and try and click, it doesn't really work. Um, actually, I guess I got one of those clicks in. And the reason for that is that the sword is actually trying to hit this slime, which is the click detector. And uh, if you move too quickly, you can see there's some lag from the click detector. This is especially apparent if you're like moving. Um, but the right clicks on carrots on a stick, they don't, they don't need a click detector. There's actually just a scoreboard way to test for clicking. So there's never any lag. Uh, this is actually a, like, especially apparent if you say, let's, uh, let's fill this. By the way, there's a new feature. If you click this gray text, it'll fill in your commands. So you just have to type the, type the name of the block, a little convenience feature. Let's use the clone brush. And, um, if I try and left click, you'll see it's very hit and miss what actually fills in. 
Whereas if I try and right click, every single click is gonna cause a stone to appear. So just much more reliable, especially if you're moving the mouse quickly or if you yourself are moving quickly. Uh, it's just very reliable. And there are some downsides, like for instance, if you have a chest and you're trying to select the chest. Um, well, okay, that worked. I don't know, I don't know what, but sometimes if you're trying to right click something like a chest or anything that uses right click, then it won't work. Also, uh, you can accidentally break blocks while you have a carrot on a stick selected, whereas with a sword, uh, it's impossible to break any blocks in creative mode. That's just a feature of swords in creative mode. So there's some differences. I think probably most people will find the carrot on a stick useful though. Um, there's some other little things like, for instance, uh, let's, let's uh, select a region here. There's, uh, if you wanna replace so you can pick air now. So actually, let me let me put a few blocks here. So um, I'll select this. Let's say I want to replace air with, um, I don't know, grass block. Uh, so so that works now. That was a, that was something that didn't work. It also works the other way. So let's replace let's uh, replace grass blocks with air, and that'll work too. So there was no previous way to do it. There were some hacky workarounds. There's some other things, some other bug fixes. It should work a lot better. Uh, this whole plugin or data pack should work a lot better in water and lava, that sort of thing. Um, some other things. You can see the change log in the manual. If you want to download any of this, the new version of Bling Edit or the Spline plugin or the Drop Fill plugin, those are all available from the manual as well. There's a link in the description for that manual, and you can find the download links in there. That's about it. Thanks for watching.